Okay, Fahad, I want to talk here about e-health. The symbol is E-H-T-H. You remember at the end of January in Telegram, you, you posted what they had in their fourth quarter results here a couple times, but we really haven't come back to it since. Let me just start off here with uh, a recap of that fourth quarter. They guided it at the time Q4 revenues of $134 million versus estimates of $110. It's 25% beat on the top line. Uh, revenue guidance for the year 2018, 250 million versus 227 million expected. And more importantly, guidance for 2019 revenues of 300 million versus expectations of 265 million. I was looking at Jaguar Scanner just this week, and I saw this 500 of the May 70 strike calls go off at about four bucks. It's not a big bet maybe, but this stock doesn't see a lot of options traded normally. And that's the kind of action that stands out for us. Yeah. And finally on the chart here too, we've got a great breakout this week after a consolidating base for the last couple of months. So really we have fundamentals, technicals, options activity, right? The three-pronged approach. Yeah, indeed, Tom. And let me just come back to the quarter real quick because that was the first time we ever briefly touched upon this stock. This was in late January when that fantastic quarter came out. I mean, just monster beat, just blew the estimates out of the water. And um, so I just simply put it out, uh, a, you know, so the highlights of that quarter in our Telegram messaging service to just alert all the subscribers. And then since then, we haven't looked at it. So good one to bring it up over here. That option activity is very intriguing. We don't really see action in this one. And it, I think it, it's about $200,000. But most important thing is it's about 60 days out. So in the next two months, and it's about 10% out of money. So clearly some excitement here with a technical breakout that this thing is still has room to run for the next couple of weeks at least. Um, just to quickly recap what stood out for me when I was looking at that quarter. The fourth quarter revenues were up 62% year over year. This was highest ever in the history of the company. Now, keep in mind in the background that eHealth provides the uh, a uh, whole bunch of uh, eHealth e own, owns a whole bunch of right. uh, websites uh, eHealth.com, Medicare.com, eHealthInsurance.com, and so on and so on. And through them, the company provides Medicare and private insurance. And so this is essentially what is playing as proxy beneficiary of the Obamacare. After so many years of already having that in place, it's finally starting to play out. So there's a lot of enrollment that is starting to increase on the platform, and that's why the company was reporting such a great quarter. A line over here from RBC Capital Note that caught my attention, and they basically said that the, uh, the ongoing open enrollment period was still on at that particular time. And they said that the seniors and the existing MA plans who are looking to switch may do so through March 31st. Why do I care about this? Because this, uh, this very particular line suggests that the m momentum we saw in the earnings growth likely is still going to continue in the first quarter. And that means when the next earnings come out, which is going to be sometime in probably late April, you're going to see at least one more total blowout quarter from the company before some you know, stabilization at that point. We did have a pullback right after that fourth quarter report came out, though. I remember some negative news. Yeah, there was a there was a a, a bit of a concern because the there was news came out from Washington that the House Democrats were pushing against some malpractices that were taking place in private insurance companies, and so this was tangled up with another stock that was that was selling off sharply back then, which was the H I I Q is the symbol. And uh, I think so that was part of the reason. And then secondly, around the same time in February, there was another piece of news when the company actually only a few days after they reported their earnings, they reinstated their earnings. They found out a bit abnormality in their accounting records where some of the revenue that was supposed to be recognized in Q4 was slipped into Q1 as such. They went back, they corrected those numbers overall over the over the course of two quarters, it was basically a wash. Coming down to the technicals on the chart, if you look over here, uh, after that pullback that you mentioned, stock basically formed a base just above 52.50, broke out through 60 on very heavy volume today. And I think easy first target is 65, which basically means a retest of prior 52 week high. And then after that, I believe it heads towards $70 per share. MACD bull cross, high, high volume bar, technical breakout, RSI breakout, fundamentals, and the option activity. Perfect picture that comes together. Yep, that's the complete picture. That's it.